Hi everyone, I'm Matthew Bruce, writer of For the Love of Celluloid blog, and today I'm going to look back at Brian Gilbert's Wild, starring Stephen Fry from 1997. I've always thought of Stephen Fry as a man of television, whether he be touring America, playing Jeeves to Hugh Laurie's Worcester, or hosting the ever-popular QI Quiz Show. Little did I know until very recently that Stephen Fry had taken a plunge into motion pictures, taking the lead role of Oscar Wilde in Brian Gilbert's Wild from 1997. This is a gem of a film heralding the best in British acting talent, with names such as Jude Law, Michael Sheen, Vanessa Redgrave and Zoe Wanamaker, to name but a few. I've always enjoyed Oscar Wilde's plays and witty quotations since I studied An Ideal Husband at school. It's worth noting that this play inspired an equally marvellous film adaptation starring the inimitable Rupert Everett and Julianne Moore, among others. I was also fortunate to have had the opportunity to play Dr Chasuble in my drama group's rendition of arguably the most famous play by Wilde, The Importance of Being Earnest. Despite all this, I was curious to know more about the man behind the plays. The film depicts Wilde's life from his triumphant rise to fame and his family life and relationships to the brutal public outing of his homosexuality and subsequent trial and imprisonment. Stephen Fry is more than comfortable in the role he was born to play. Here we have an intellectual match for the character, if I may say. Fry even bears a striking resemblance to the real Wilde. Opposite Fry is Jennifer Ellie as his ever faithful and long-suffering wife Constance, and a young Jude Law as Wilde's young, tempestuous lover, Bosie. Fry and Law are a formidable duo, and are ably supported by Michael Sheen as Robbie Ross, Wilde's other devotee. Brian Gilbert's direction is spot on, as is the cinematography by Martin Fuhrer. I'm particularly referencing the long shots of Wilde flamboyantly parading himself down the streets of onlookers. By contrast, the low-key shots of Wilde's suffering in prison are startling. The film has just been re-released on DVD and Blu-ray after a long absence, at about time too. The only downside is that there are no additional extras to speak of. The film is rather explicit, but I imagine true to real events that occurred. Also worth a mention is the moving soundtrack by Debbie Wiseman. Throughout his dramatic and often sad life, Wilde remains largely positive through it all, an attitude which lends itself to his own quotation, We are all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from For the Love of Celluloid blog. Please follow me on social media at the handles in the video description as well as my website.